Yeah, because there's something inside each human being that's waiting to be activated and expressed. And sometimes we're born into families that don't quite understand us. We may feel alienated, like they don't quite get me, and we go in search of, where can I become myself? And spiritual and religious traditions are often the, the catalyst for, for us to become ourselves, to become enlivened and, and to experience a part of ourselves that we never, we know is there. You know, we, we, all, we all know, oh my God, there's joy, there's happiness, there's love, there's meaning, there's something. Uh, and so in the classes, I love to share a range of material like this book is an example, like you said, of what I do in the class because it's offering a range of different spiritual paradigms and also just life philosophy. We don't have to say it's spiritual or religious. We can just say it's human. It's life. Right. And each student gets something different because they're unique. And that's really cool. It's like seeing in, in the garden where the rain comes. It wasn't that so beautiful to have all the rain we had. The rain comes and then you wake up and you say, what's gonna grow? What's gonna grow? And it's so different. Everything is so unique, how it expresses and the conditions in which it then blossoms into its full expression. I completely agree. <laughs>